Okay, I'm going to do a teaching on 1 Corinthians 15, verse 40 through, don't even know the end, possibly. Okay, verse 40. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars and one of the differ from another star in glory, right? Everything has its own glory. Jesus has his glory. God has his glory. Okay. Now, he, he, they're not one and the same. They're not co-equal. God cannot be the man Messiah. God, Jesus has his own glory in that. There's a hierarchy. Jesus is sitting on the right-hand side of God. Um, <clears throat> so also are the uh, so also is the resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead is the resurrection of the just and unjust. It's not the gathering together. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Uh, anything that is resurrected, whether it's this one in this administration of grace or any other. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. And it is raised in power. It is sown in that sown a natural body. It is sown a natural body. You have to live in a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. Now let's not do this one thing. It has raised a spiritual human body. No. Uh, you were sewn in a, you were sewn together in a natural body. Sewn together. You know, you got all your parts sewn together, right? Sewn together. Sewn in a natural body. It has raised a spiritual body. It doesn't say it's raised a spiritual human body. It says it's raised a spiritual body. Now, God just got done saying that one body of the stars is not the same body of the moon or the sun or, you know, anything else. Everything has its own body. So is the spiritual body going to be our human body? No. Well, why did Jesus have a human body when he came back from the dead? Because that's how people saw him. He could have whatever body he wanted when he went out past the, uh, to the edge of darkness. What kind of body you thought he had out there? A ball of light. Showing himself alive to the imprisoned devil spirits that are going to have to wait until the final judgment of devil spirits. Like God had to kick him out of there when they caused the flood of Noah's day. Uh, so in a natural body, and it has raised a spiritual body, not a spiritual human body, a spiritual body, whatever that is. But Jesus Christ passed through walls. He did not have a human body. It may look like a human body, but it was a spiritual body that looked like a human. Okay. And he's the only one that has it. Nobody else is alive with a human-looking spiritual body. Uh, it is so a natural body. It has raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And also, it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last man, Adam, was made a quickening spirit. Yeah. Uh... After the resurrection. And he, he had to have something that looked like a human. Yeah, no, he looked like an alien. No, he was uh, 20 feet tall when he came back. No. Freak everybody out. 
But what was he when he went out to the edge of darkness? Show himself alive to the imprint of devil spirits. I, I can't see that he would need to look like a human. He just needed to show up. Uh, and so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last, Adam, was made a quickening spirit. How be it that they're not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. We get to live this life in the natural with a piece of the spiritual. Yeah, that token, Holy Spirit, Christ in you, the new man. Holy Spirit, the gift. Yes. How be it that it was not first which it was spiritual, but that which was natural, and after that which was spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy, and the second man is the Lord from heaven. As it is er earthy, such are they that are also are earthy. Okay? And also the heavenly, such are they that are also heavenly. I partake of both. I am human, and I am. I do have God's Holy Spirit for eternity, which he gave me. It's mine. And I decide what I do with it. God is holy, God is spirit, and God gave me his Holy Spirit, his spiritual sperm, okay? And I decide how big that thing's going to get. Uh, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, verse 50. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. This corruptible doesn't inherit, bring in the in, uh, bring in the incorruption, incorruptible. Uh, it's in there, but this body's gonna be gone one way or another. Uh, flesh and blood cannot. Inherit the kingdom of God. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. It's changed. It goes from lead to gold. It ain't lead no more. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. That sleep is 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 through 18, 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 58. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. I gotta read that again. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. God bless you all.